My people, finally, INEC president elect Tinubu returned yesterday to Nigeria after weeks of medical treatment. And there has been a lot of uh, reactions from Nigerians, okay? Especially, there is these pictures that be going around the internet where Tinubu raises his hands and we saw something like drip or something like a syringe. Many people have been calling it like a uh, different name. Some say that is a PICC line. Some say that is artificial oxygen. Like a lot of names, guys. It is obvious that Tunubu is sick. This man is not well at all. But there is nothing wrong with him being sick or being not well. But the problem now is why is APC trying to hide it? Knowing very well that INEC have already pronounced him as president-elect. So it means that Tunubu is Nigeria property now, which every Nigerian deserve to know his whereabouts, his head state and all that. So them hiding it is kind of suspicious because they say that he went to go and rest while he's in the hospital. So why are they hiding it? What are they hiding it for? No Knowing very well the kind of generation you guys are playing with. You cannot just play with this kind of generation. So the earlier better you guys being transparent, being truthful, the better for you guys. Because this generation, they are not joking. Okay? They are not joking. Because we started seeing these pictures immediately, Tinubu arrived in Abuja. So they are kind of ready, you know, ready to see what they're going to, you know, criticize Tunubu with. So it's better you people being transparent, being truthful, so that when all these things start happening, we say, okay, you guys have already said it. Instead of, you know, playing in our intelligence, it's kind of you are playing us, you are taking us as a fool, which is really not right, okay? And another thing, again, when you look at this video like very well, you will see that Tunubu's wife is not that happy. He's not that cheerful. Like if you look at it very well, you know that the woman is disturbed with something, which we believe that because of Tunubu's hair state, the state of Tunubu's head. Okay, so you cannot hide it. Everything is just obvious for everyone to see and notice. And another thing, again, when I watched Tunubu's interview yesterday, there is something that he said when they asked him like his plan about you know what he's going to do in this administration and he said that he cannot say because he have to consult people and all that like i was shocked does it mean that what everything tunubu have been saying in his campaign and everything that inside his uh, manifesto like i don't get it guys just what did we do let me come back guys. Yes. we're already talking about your administration and what it will look like can you give us a glimpse into what you have in plan? i can't i've not consulted people yet and I mean, and I mean, administration, you said, is not run alone. You don't govern alone. Hmm, my people, we all know that you cannot govern alone. But as the head, as the leader, when this kind of question is asked, we expected you to say something like the ideas, like what you have in place, your, like your plans of this administration. Even though that <laughs> you have people around you, but you must not be con like consulting people in any question they ask you. Say, let me go and consult people so they will answer for you. That is not a leader. That is not the you know the kind of you know kind of president that we want in this kind of state Nigeria is right now. Honestly. Okay, and most of the time when he asked me, he said that he wants to start wear Buhari stuff. My people, hmm, we are in a long thing, you know, this is the science. This is just the beginning of what we all need to be expecting from this administration. Because, you know, go day is you, the way Nigeria day now, eh? and somebody is telling us that he wants to start wear Buhari stuff. Hmm, where are we heading to, guys? Like, where are we heading to? That is the reason why we are shouting now, so that we can reclaim our mandate okay many people are saying if you like it or not Tunubu will rule you for eight years hmm. do not support evil even if it is working for you the evil that works for you today will definitely work against you guys like most people they don't even know what they are into they thought because of uh, Tunubu is their brother or maybe they thought they're going to get something from Tunubu's administration that's why they are supporting him but at the end of the day, this thing is going to affect us all, both those living in Nigeria and those living abroad. Because huh, you guys know how much na uh, Naira is now to dollar as well to the euro. So it is affecting both the rich, both the poor. So the best thing for us all now to do is to make sure that we declare our mandate and uh, let the person we voted for rule us. Let's see what is going to happen. 
But if Tinubu continues, you guys know that most people are not in support of it. So I don't know how his administration is going to look like. So let's keep praying and let the will of God be prevailed. So guys, I hope you enjoy watching. Please don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comment section and share this video, like it as well. I will see you guys in my next update. Bye for now, guys. Bye.